slip and fall. Injuries occur quite often. Usually they occur when you're at a place or location or property that you've never been to before because you're unfamiliar with it. And you take for granted, like all of us do when we're walking through an area that wherever I'm walking is gonna be free and there's not gonna be any fluid that I can't see or notice on the floor that's gonna be slick. Obviously, when you fall, the real question is, is what did you fall on? What type of liquid was it? Or what kind of object was it that made it cause you to slip and fall? And how long it's been there? One of the ways we you learn it as a young law student in law school is that the banana peel case that, that is called Paul's graph. It's an old case, and the first case it was on a it was on a train platform, and the first case the banana peel that the person fell on was yellow, and it was undisputed that it was yellow when the person fell. And the court said, you can't sue the person, you can't recover for that. Next case that came along, the banana peel was black. Everybody said the banana peel was black. And the person slipped and fell on the black banana peel. And that person could recover against the train company. And the reason why that is, is when you own a property, you have a duty to look at that property and make it safe for the people entering. Now, the court's not gonna say that you have to walk behind everybody there that's got a banana in their hand and make sure that they pick it up. But if a banana peel stayed on the ground long enough to turn black, that means as the premise owner, I didn't do a whole lot to keep it safe for you. And so that's why it becomes a, a specific issue of what you fell on and how long was it there. Should the property owner or the person managing the property done something about it or is it just something that happened? And that's really one of the things that we look at when, before we take any type of slip and fall case. What, what did you fall on and how long has it been there?